this is Kim here another episode um, sorry it's been a quick minute until I had um, shared any new recipes just because of the simple fact I'm in school right now and I have a lot on my plate and it's very overwhelming so without further ado I bring you another new quick um, breakfast idea this is mom friendly um, non mom friendly as well if you just love a super busy lifestyle so this is going to be peanut butter and jelly overnight oats, it's called. Um, this is actually out of one of my favorite cookbooks, so um, I cannot take credit for it. Um, so far, we just have portioned out a half cup of um, oats. I actually use this big container here that is from Aldi's, so super cheap, great find. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and put this, I make these right in a mason jar that I eat it out of the mason jar. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour my oats straight into my mason jar. Then next I'm going to go ahead and take some vanilla almond milk. And the vanilla almond milk, you're actually going to need a half cup of that as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and measure that in here as well. And I'm making this as Ellie's eating breakfast. So it's kind of perfect. Um, go ahead and pour that straight into your jar. We got our oats, we got our almond milk in there, and then you're going to go ahead and add in your strawberries. It's about one third cup, so I went ahead and just kind of diced up, um, sliced up some, about probably like four to five small strawberries. So I went ahead and I added those in. You can kind of see that in there. Um, and then we are going to need cinnamon. This is literally just like ground knockoff cinnamon, super cheap. You could probably buy it from the dollar store and it wouldn't even make a difference. So we are using 1 8 teaspoon to put that in there. So there's our, tea, our, um, our cinnamon. Let me put the lid back on that. And then our vanilla, we're gonna do the same vanilla extract. It's also dollar store find or something like that. Someplace super cheap. Um, and I'm going to go ahead, this is also one eighth of a teaspoon you're going to use. So just pour it over and add that in. Okay. Last but not least, we have two things to add in. We're going to use powdered peanut butter. This is, um, I get this at Sam's Club. I know that they are now selling it at Walmart. Um, it has some of the fats taken out of it, and it's a little bit more healthier style of peanut butter. So um, with this powdered peanut butter, we're going to add two tablespoons into our oatmeal, okay? So I'm just going to level that off, and there's one, two, all right. And then the next one is natural creamy peanut butter. We're only going to actually add half of a tablespoon of this in there. So let me go ahead and scoop this out. I'm just going to go ahead and use the knife that I had used for slicing my strawberries and put that in there. This is one of the main reasons why I like to make it in a mason jar because that is all the ingredients you need. All that powder sitting up top, I just like to go ahead and shake it really hard. And your breakfast is ready for the next morning. So this is called overnight oats. You can leave this sit in your fridge and it'll fluffen up and thicken up for tomorrow morning. You can eat it cold straight out of the jar or you can warm it up in the microwave if you'd like. I personally like mine cold and that is that. If you would like me to post the nutritional facts below, let me know and have a great day guys. Thanks for watching.